All right, back on Sports Bit. We continue with Big Game Breakdown. Paulie and Teddy at Pauly Howard on Twitter at Teddy underscore covers on CBS Saturday. Tennessee at Georgia. Tennessee three and a half, 53 the total. Hey, I'll give Butch Jones some credit. Tennessee was the team that came all the way back to win. They, were, they weren't the team that blew it this time around. Maybe that can uh, get some of the emotion and carry over to the Georgia game. And maybe there's some, some buyer's remorse here as Georgia ran Mark Richt out and Kirby Smart. They were embarrassed last week on the road, Teddy. Yeah, sure. They were embarrassed plenty of times in the Richt era uh, as well. Now, look, the Vols used up a ton of emotion versus Florida last week. And I always worry about a team coming off a big emotional high and now going on the road and laying points uh, on the road the following week. Now, I'm with you. Uh, this is the second time now that we've seen Tennessee battle back from adversity. We saw it in the Virginia Tech game uh, early on, and we saw it last week. And I'm with you, giving credit to Butch Jones for kicking that field goal. Well, a lot of times we bitch at coaches, what are you doing kicking a field goal down 21 nothing? Well, when they kicked that field goal, it kind of got the team's head into the game after they came out way too high at the beginning. But this is kind of a pretty clear weakness now for Tennessee. That offensive line has not progressed. They're not giving Joshua Dobbs enough time in the pocket. They're not creating room for Jalen Hurd to run the football. He's only averaging four yards per carry on his 91 rushing attempts so far this season. First SEC home game for Kirby Smart. It's good for him that he gets to get away from Hugh Freeze and that spread offense. That's the the big issue for Saban and Kirby Smart, stopping a spread that goes fast, and that's been their kryptonite. But they, they did run the ball well. They had 200 yards rushing against Old Miss, Teddy, in the loss. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you talk about that Hugh Free spread offense. Let's see, Kirby Smart couldn't stop it when he was at Alabama, and he sure couldn't stop it uh, at Georgia uh, last week. Didn't really have a clue uh, how to do it in this game. The Tennessee offense is much better for Kirby Smart tactically uh, compared uh, to the old Miss offense. Uh, that being said, uh, I mean, Georgia, Nick Chubb, very questionable uh, for this contest, but Georgia still managed to run for over 200 yards at Ole Miss. They've got good depth at running back. The quarterback, Jacob Eason, has shown that he's, you know, uh, after those first two road games against tough defenses in Missouri and Ole Miss, uh, playing between the hedges has got to help Eason. He's a guy with an NFL caliber arm. Total too low? Just about right? What do you think? Yeah, it's it's not a game that, if, certainly from a total standpoint, that, that stands out to me. Uh, from a side standpoint, I could only look at the Bulldogs plus the points, even though Tennessee has shown me enough that I'm not in any rush to step in front of the ball. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.